Hello food fans, we're going to have a delightful lunch. I've had this before, this is banquet spaghetti and meatballs. And the last time I checked the price, two for three dollars, so a dollar and a half per serving. And this is a 10 ounce, I believe, 10 ounce serving, 11 ounce, 11 ounce serving of spaghetti and meatballs. And as I say, I have eaten it before. And it was delicious then. I'm sure it's going to be delicious now, but the real excitement will be the dessert. We're going to have a secret dessert. So, let's get started. And I like spaghetti. I like my salad. I have my salad here. This is my deluxe salad. For any of you uh, people who are brand new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And um, the salad has tomatoes, it has carrots, it has cabbage, it has mayonnaise, it has sweet relish, and it has ketchup in it. And that's my salad just about every single day. And we'll talk a little bit uh, later on about uh, foods that are good for you. Uh, let me get a bit of salad here first and the spaghetti is quite hot out of the microwave In my microwave dish here cabbage is good salad 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 and this makes a nice lunch. It's under five dollars. Uh, the spaghetti portion, spaghetti and meatballs, a dollar and a half. And that with the salad would be probably less than two dollars. The dessert is going to be expensive. The secret dessert. Foods that are good for you, I think a lot of the foods that are good for you are foods that you like. I'm going to mix the spaghetti, the sauce with the spaghetti. The sauce is made out of pork and chicken and beef. And it has some iron to contribute to your daily need for iron about 15 percent of an adult's need according to the package which I assume is accurate oh gonna add one more little secret ingredient here this is uh, Grated cheese. When I'm not having spaghetti for lunch, usually it's something almost like spaghetti, a spaghetti ish dish, like pesto or uh, noodles with cream style corn and Tuna, basically a pasta dish. Let's try some of this. And parents, remember to check the kids' meal, make sure it's not too hot before they bite into it. Mmm. This is a good uh, spaghetti recipe, and it's better than the canned spaghetti that I've tasted in recent years. Most of the canned spaghetti now, whether it's um, Chef Boyardee or Campbell's or Kroger or whatever, the sauce is a little bit too thin, but the frozen food banquet spaghetti has uh, some sauce that actually looks like thick sauce.
Yeah, it tastes very good. The meatballs are good. More salad. Check online or with your doctor, with a health expert. See what they have to say about cabbage, but also about carrots, tomatoes, the pickled relish, the sweet relish. The salad. might cure whatever ails you, if you have an ailment. Cabbage is something I've eaten for you. Uh, eight decades and more, and I like it. Remember, we got a dessert kind of the dessert. The health food people probably won't want to eat it, but uh, it's one of my favorite desserts. Watermelon is probably the only, watermelon and cantaloupe uh, probably the only desserts that are natural that I like. But I could also add cherries to that, and peaches, and bananas. This is very, very, very tasty. The banquet, spaghetti and meatballs. I bought that at Kroger. The uh, cabbage and tomatoes. I might have bought the tomatoes at Aldi, not sure. We're lucky in the United States to have most of the foods we want are in the supermarket, although I've seen a lot of bare shelves recently. Salad not only good for you, it tastes good. Watermelon is good for you, according to every report I've ever read. Finish off the salad and make some room. I'll just put it over here. The salad dish is empty. Finish up the spaghetti. 11 ounces of spaghetti in the can. It's about 15 ounces of spaghetti they put in the can, but that counts the watery sauce. I think there's more solid food here in the frozen banquet spaghetti and meatballs than uh, what we would find if we tried to make this with the canned spaghetti. Have you guessed what the secret dessert is? The 
it's something that I enjoy with almost any meal. And it probably has some nutritional value. You can eat it with or without ice cream. Are some foods actually medicines? Do they cure something or help with a uh, physical ailment? The answer appears to be yes. It's probably a good idea to have raw vegetables every day. And believe it or not, I think I have a pretty healthful diet. Part of what I do that some people don't do, I eat what I like. My mind is at ease when I'm eating. I don't count calories. I do make a mess. I think the messier your kitchen is, the uh, better your eating. Oh, let me have some root beer here. Almost forgot. I was dying of thirst. Root beer's good. Now, let me... I'll start by showing you the box that the secret dessert came in. Marie Callender's Banana Cream Pie Thaw and enjoy comes in the frozen food section. Now, here it is, the banana cream pie. I'll take the plastic cover off. I'll be putting this back in the refrigerator. When I eat pie, whether it's pumpkin or apple or whatever, usually I have one-fourth of the pie as a serving, one slice. And this is really cream-filled banana cream pie. I could used to buy a banana cream pie in a supermarket for 50 cents. This banana cream pie, Marie Callender banana cream pie, was $7.99. We'll say $8, $2 per slice. Mmm, the whipped cream is good. Now what I'm going to do is use my little spoon, get in here, and I'll take this slice of pie right here to my right, the southeastern portion of the pie. Let's see what this tastes like. Very good. And it's from the refrigerator. It's, it's cold, but it's refreshing. I can taste the bananas and the pudding-like uh, filling that they put into it and the uh, cream on top and the crust. Mmm. If you haven't had any pie recently, I highly recommend this. Um, I've had Marie Callender dishes before and they're always good, tasty. And Kroger generally has shelves that are filled 
if I were going to pick my favorite desserts, well, there'd be a bunch of them. Bread pudding, for example. Haven't had that in a long time. And I like various types of ice cream. The ice cream that I like most right now, there's Death by Chocolate, which is at Kroger. And I like Moose Tracks at Aldi. I'm lucky to be me. As I've said before, I'm glad I'm me here now. And I'm glad that after all these years I'm still eating what I want to eat. Four more slices of, uh, or three more slices of banana cream pie. I would guess uh, it'll last for a week in the refrigerator. Four or five minutes in a college fraternity. No complaints at all. This might be medicine. Banana cream pie belongs on the medicine shelf because it makes you feel good. Thank you for stopping by. Glad to hear all your wonderful stories and uh, come by again soon. And I thank you for watching.